What if I told you you could build a fully functional voice agent connected to a real number in just one prompt? I know this sounds impossible, but it is not. We can now do amazing things straight in Lovable. And I took upon the responsibility to make sure that you know everything about it. So let me show you how. Okay, so we are going to build a voice AI agent purely in Lovable. And it's really insane that we can now do this. So I will put a link to the prompt library in the description. So you can just copy paste this and use for your own projects. And today we are going to build a receptionist for a restaurant. And as you can see here, when we now scroll down, we have our prompt here. And let me very shortly get you through the prompt. I won't explain everything in detail because the prompt is just way too large. So we will very shortly explain what we are going to make. So so we need two API keys. We're using the OpenAI real-time API and we are using Resend to send confirmations about reservations. We have a live demo page where we can actually test out the agent by talking to it and fine tune it where we need to. We have the conversations that we store, we store the reservations and we have settings and the settings can be adjusted by the user itself. So things like restaurant name, restaurant hours, but also the menu. We also have some code because we are doing this with Twilio and Twilio is external so Lovable doesn't actually know how to work with Twilio so we need to give it documentation so now Lovable knows exactly how to interact with it this is our code you can just copy paste this and then you will have the complete AI agent so what we'll now do is we'll go up here we click on copy and then we go to Lovable and just paste it in and see what it comes up with so in Lovable we paste it yeah, so just run it. In the meantime, we'll get our API keys from Recent and OpenAI. And once we put that in, we can actually start testing it out and fine tuning it from there. So let's run it now. So to get your OpenAI API key, you need to go to platform.openai.com to the API keys page. You can create a new secret key and that's basically everything that you need to do. Then also for Recent, you create a free account and you have 100 emails per day for free. So right here, I have Recent open and you can just go to the API keys page. You can create a new one. You need to copy paste it and Lovable will ask you to input those API keys. It's really simple, but let me now show you what the actual result is because it's really amazing. It's really crazy that we only did this in one prompt. So let me go back to our Lovable. And as you can see here, we started with this prompt. So when I show you the next thing that we needed to do, here, it enabled cloud and I put it on always allow. So it is just creating everything for me. I don't need to accept anything. It modified the database. So it created the tables that we need for it. So our agent configuration, we created a table for the messages, for the reservations, and this is all looking fine. And it then asked us for our OpenAI API key. I just paste it in here. And then it asked for our recent API key, which I also just pasted in here. And that was it. It already worked. I used a few prompts to fine tune it. So before demoing it, I want to show you the platform because we have our live demo here, which is the current page. We have our conversations. And on this page, we just have all our conversations that have been done by our AI agent. We also have our reservations page and here it shows all the reservations that have been done. We have our settings page and as you can see here, we have information about a restaurant, restaurant hours, menu and the custom instructions. Um, let me now show you that it is already working. Hey guys, very quickly, if you are enjoying this video and learning anything from it, please like and subscribe. A lot more content like this will be coming out soon and I will make sure that you will know all the hacks to make amazing apps like this. So let's head back into the video. So we can now just click on the microphone and start talking to it. Hi there. Hello, welcome to Demo Restaurant. How can I assist you today? Hey, so I would like to make a reservation, please. Of course. Could you please provide me with your name, email address, the date and time you'd like to reserve, and the number of guests? Yeah, so I'm thinking about Sunday, the 19th of October, and I want to come with five people at 6 p.m., please. Could you please provide me with your name and email address to complete the reservation? Yeah, sure. It is written in the Dutch way. It's Luke Alleman, and then my email address is luke at alleman.nl. Okay, so it has worked. When I now go to my email, as you can see here, zero minutes ago, we have our reservation confirmed. 
this is already working and all of this is done with only one prompt so that is really amazing but obviously we are now only testing it out and the next step is to actually implement it into Twilio to a real phone number let me very shortly show you we have our reservations here where we do have my name and my email the time uh, the guests and the status is confirmed so this is already looking very good and obviously some fine tuning is needed. We want to check for availability, for example, but now the first thing that we actually want to do is connect it to our Twilio. So what we did in the first prompt is we already explained what we expect from it. And because we did, it can already work with Twilio. When we go to cloud here, we have our edge functions here. So we have our real time session, um, which is the one that we just demoed. And we also have our Twilio voice. And if we click on here, we have this button here, which has copy URL. We can very simply copy this, go to Twilio and paste it to connect it with our phone number. So we have our phone number here and you can very simply buy one. You can just click on one, it costs a few dollars, like one per month. But our active numbers are here. We can then click on it and we can configure everything here. So a call comes in and we want to activate a webhook to a URL and we got this URL from our edge functions. So we can now paste it. And the only thing that we need to add here is Twim. This is the only setup work that we actually need to do. So we can now very simply just click on save configuration and then we are already done. So the only thing left is actually test it out on my phone and see if it is actually working. So we have our phone number here. We can now actually just type it in and have a conversation with it. So what we have here is we have our number and I can now actually start calling it and we can see if it is actually working. Hello, thank you for calling Demo Restaurant. How can I assist? I would like to make a reservation, please. Of course, I'd be happy to help with your reservation. May I have your name, please? Yes, sure. So my name is Dutch and it's called Luc Alleman. Thank you, Mr. Alleman. Can you please provide the date and time you'd like to make the reservation for, as well as the number of guests? Yeah, so I was thinking about coming Monday, it's the 20th of October, and then around 7 in the evening for 6 persons, please. Great, please provide your email address to finalize the reservation. My email address is um, basically my first and my last name, so it's luke at aleman.nl. Thank you for providing your email address. Your reservation for 6 people on Monday, October 20th at 7 p.m., has been successfully booked, Mr. Allen. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, it added a new reservation for the correct date, the time, the guests, all going correctly. The other prompts were just for styling the app. And the nice thing about Lovable is you just try it out, you start calling with it. And when you see something that you don't like, you can just tell Lovable to change it. So no more debugging yourself. It is all just very simple right now to make good voice agents. If you wanted to get a phone number instead of an email address, you just ask Lovable to change it. And I think this is just an amazing way of building AI agents. And besides that, you get your front end for free. So you can just share this with your client already. They will see everything. They can even configure the AI agent exactly how they want just by testing it. They can add things to their menu themselves you can even add PDF files here. You can add external integrations, but that is obviously not the point behind this video. I just wanted to show you what is possible right now, how to create voice AI agents like this in just a few prompts and almost zero effort. Thank you for watching my complete video. If you've enjoyed this and learned anything from it, please like and subscribe. It will help me grow my channel while it helps you create better AI systems.